And do it to six today. We're learning more about a deadly bus crash that claimed five lives in southeast Arkansas. It happened last night near Dermot, where a large truck collided with a van belonging to a school serving disabled adults when the van failed to yield at an intersection. Police say the five people killed in the crash range in ages from 19 to 73. It's left community members asking what happened and remembering those they lost. Reporter Ian Russell spent the day in the area and has the very latest. Yeah, this is where it all happened. A bus was trying to cross Highway 35 onto Highway 165 when an 18 wheeler slammed into the side of them. You can actually still see the tire tracks on the ground from where that happened. And while those in McGee are still trying to process their grief, they tell me they're not forgetting who those people were. Southeastern Arkansas may be widespread, but it doesn't mean the community isn't tight knit. And when anything happens, the news spreads quickly. Unfortunately, it's bad news this time. According to state police, five people were killed when a bus from CB King Memorial School failed to yield at the intersection of highways 35 and 165. It's a wonderful close community. Everybody know everybody. Everybody care for everybody. Dolly Wilson is a born and raised member of the McGee community. She says she wasn't anywhere close to where the accident happened, but she heard about it almost immediately. For this to happen Monday was just like, uh, I don't want to hear it, no, somebody got something wrong, you know, and everything. And the reality of it is, it is true. Those that knew the victims are still grieving. Uh, it was kind of hard for me to accept uh, that she had passed away and I still get a little emotional. But their memory is keeping Rosie Beverly going. She knew Geraldine Pruitt or little bit as she was known around town better than most. Beverly was her caretaker for a couple of years. She says Geraldine was a student at CB King, which provides services for people with developmental delays. She, she was a little bit. They, she just talked all the time. She knew everything going on around here in McGee. It's memories like those that are getting this community through. It's tough, but they're taking it one day at a time. If you see it, got to get used to it. You try to smile and you try to, you know, you're going to look beyond this later. Uh, but it's still in our heart. It's still a sadness. Well, that was Ian Russell reporting. The crash is currently under investigation by Arkansas State Police.